so what's up guys welcome and welcome back to my channel this is JB23 vlog in this video guys I would like to share how I overhaul the main burner of the auxiliary boiler but before that guys if you are new to my channel please consider hitting the like share and subscribe and if you are interested in this kind of topic guys all about marine engineering please hit also the notification bell so that you will be updated for my upcoming videos so now let's proceed guys as you can see from the beginning we have to carry out the lockout and zag out of the machinery then we have to secure from the local and then after securing we can proceed now to the disassembling of all parts so right at this moment i'm detaching the quick release connection of the main burner which is the steam and the fuel oil so we have to unlock the locking bolt of the main burner so that we can draw out the burner assembly so just like that guys just draw out slowly the burner assembly then i have to mount the burner gun to the overhauling stand of the main burner so i am partially removing the carbons and the suits accumulated from the atomizer tip or the atomizer itself so as you can see guys this is the pipe in which the burner gun has to be inserted for cleaning this is for cleaning using steam right now i am opening the cleaning pipe and i'm inserting now the burner gun so that we can clean by steam now i am inserting it to the hole and i'm pressing the locking bolt of the burner gun so we have to lock first and to attach the quick release connection this is the steam connection guys so for fuel and steam connection we have to connect both of them have to be connected by steam so this is the steam valve so we have to clean for at least 30 minutes purging by steam of the burner assembly just slowly open the steam then after a few minutes just increase the pressure for cleaning of the burner assembly just like that one eternity later so at this moment we are completed with that 30 minutes purging by steam now I am drawing out the burner gun from the cleaning pipe. Now I am mounted it into the overhauling stand. So as you can see guys, this is the overhauling stand of the main burner. So by hammering, just unscrew the burner cap nut by, by hammering guys. So just like that, unscrew slowly and as you can see this already detached this is the face and this is the atomizer tip so as you can see guys this is the face that we have to clean and i'm using the wd-40 or any penetrating oil can do for cleaning of the face I'm using uh, the wire brush for cleaning the carbons just to remove the carbons and of course you are using the compressed air so as you can see in the atomizer guys it is composed of combination of holes from fuel and the steam side just use the high pressure compressed air for cleaning and this is the diamond compound or the lapping compound which is 1000 
so just polish little bit I'm using it to polish the face-to-face -face part of the atomizer and the assembly of the burner this is the face-to-face -face part of the atomizer guys so just to make it even I'm polishing it using the lapping paste so I'm polishing it by the figure of 8 procedure the purpose of this polishing guys is to remove the stains any marks and to make it even this face to face surface of the sprayer or the atomizer into the burner assembly just to ensure that this face to face connection will not leak so after polishing guys i'm using again the penetrating oil to remove all this compound and i am ensuring that no any compound will remain from the surface so i'm using the compressed air again to blow all this compound and i have to ensure that all these holes for the fuel and for the steam is free from any obstructions either way you can use some uh, cleaning device for these holes or any pins you can use but in this way I'm using the compressed air as you can see guys the face to face surface of both the sprayer and the burner assembly it is now evenly clean so this is the antisys compound guys I'm using it for the thread part of the burner cap nut so just apply a little bit for this before installing the sprayer so right now I am installing the sprayer so just to be sure that no any particles remain from inside then now I am installing the cup nut slowly to press all the way down to lock the sprayer guys so just to be sure that it should be tightened so this is how I type guys from hand tight procedure as a rule of thumb from hand tight just tight 30 degrees so again I'm using hammer so as you can see the mark guys just 30 degrees from hand tight so this is how I tied the burner cap nut so as you can see guys this is now ready to install to our auxiliary boiler and now I am installing the burner again to the boiler so just insert it slowly as you can see guys there is a interlock of the burner gun insert for the this is the interlock guys so we have to lock as you can see it is locked by lock nut and this is the lock bolt for the burner assembly just to lock it firmly then I am attaching now the connection of the steam so this is the steam quick release connection guys and the other one is the fuel oil so just be sure that the quick release connection is properly connected so until here guys I hope you learned something from this video guys and if you are interested in this kind of topic please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe and this is jb23 vlog thank you for watching stay safe everyone bye bye <laughs>